The Geotechnical Centrifuge Center at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute is one of 15 equipment sites in the Network for Earthquake Engineering Simulation, or NIS grid. Rensselaer is one of the oldest engineering schools in the country. It was founded in 1824 and was the first school to grant a degree in civil engineering. The 150 G-ton centrifuge can produce a force of 200 Gs, or 200 times the Earth's gravitation, and can spin a sample weighing up to one and one-half tons. The centrifuge tests physical models of Earth structures consisting primarily of soil structures, including models of Earth dams, embankments, foundations of buildings and bridges, and retaining walls. Similar to wind tunnel testing, the process of using the centrifuge to test scale models is faster and more economical than testing full-size structures. The models can be subjected to extreme events including failures, conditions practically impossible to duplicate with full-scale structures. Operations are performed while the centrifuge is spinning in order to duplicate the forces and stresses in a centrifuge model. This requires a state-of-the-art robot Pile foundations and other foundations can be driven into the soil, excavations can be made, and various loadings can be imposed on models, all while the centrifuge is spinning. A shake table allows earthquakes to be simulated on models while the centrifuge is spinning. The two-dimensional shake table mounted on Rensselaer centrifuge is one of only three in existence. This is used in conjunction with a two-dimensional laminar box, which we will call the Big Slinky. A laminar container simulates the actual field conditions. During testing, the control room is the operations center. The facility's state-of-the-art equipment enables live collaborative testing with other NIS nice sites. The centrifuge equipment may be operated from remote sites, and all experiments may be viewed live throughout the world. This state-of-the-art teleconference room is located in Rensselaer Centrifuge Facility. It serves as a convenient conference room but the primary purpose is for teleconferencing, telecommunications, and collaborative testing necessary to carry out the NICE mission. The NICE research will help lead to better, safer, and more economical designs for our country's infrastructure. In addition to the NICE project saving lives, it is an investment that researchers believe will ultimately pay for itself due to the reduction of costs incurred from earthquake damage.